Sunday afternoon, GOJHL action from the Meridian Community Center in Pelham as the 40 Meteors hitting the ice to take on the hometown Pelham Panthers. Pelham looking for a big win over Fort Erie. First period action of this one. Meteors going to strike first. Roll out the red carpet for R.J. Schmidt as it opens up for him down the lane. He makes no mistake, and it's 1-0 Fort Erie. Schmidt's got his sixth of the season. Mets looking for more on a power play now, but Liam Wicks is going to pick this pass off in shorthanded. Wicks posted in. He makes no mistake as Liam Wicks has tied this game at one that's where we would sit after 20 in Pelham to the second period we go and this close contest would continue two on one for Pelham they score Christian Williams jumps up into the play and fires one low glove he's got Pelham on top it's 2-1 Panthers but the lead wouldn't last very long dying seconds now of the period Panthers looking for more what a save by John Lloyd he gets across and robs Cooper Drennan as it stays a 2-1 hockey game. But Fort Erie now dying seconds of the third frame. Shaka Muntu takes the pass. He outweights the goaltender and fires one home. Muntu has his fourth on the season and Fort Erie's tied it at two. We head to period number three. Pelham on the early power play and they're going to find a goal. This pass comes out front in the crease right there to bang it in. Max Schauble has number nine on the campaign and look out. Pelham takes a 3-2 lead. Then things would start to get ugly in this one. Ryland Masterson and Thomas Sefton have each had enough of each other. Masterson and Sefton in a spirited battle as they each get a couple of good shots in. Sefton able to get a good right in as Masterson finally able to wrestle him down to the ice as both sides looking for some momentum early in the third period and momentum Fort Erie would get from that Andrew McNeil gonna take a pass from Shaka Muntu in the slot he makes no mistake McNeil's got number four on the season and we're back tied all at three and Fort Erie would just keep clicking on offense in the third period. Two on one, Hunter Coley opts to fire as he rips it low blocker and Fort Erie has their first lead since the first period. It's 4-3 Mets, but they weren't done yet. Still in the third period, now middle stages of it. Dominic DeFrancesco on the power play, buries it. DeFrancesco has his fifth of the season. Fort Erie some massive insurance as they go up. 5-3, to three, and they still were not finished. Into the zone, Shaka Muntu crashing the goal. How about the feed out front from Blake Hall for his 33rd assist of the season. Muntu has his second of the afternoon, his fifth point of the afternoon for the Meteors who roll for a big third period as they defeat the Pelham Panthers by a final score of 6-3. to three. Panthers drop this one to the Fort Erie Meteors on a Sunday afternoon. Connor Clark with me. Connor, your third game in four days. You got another one tomorrow. How do you kind of put this one on the back burner and uh, get set for tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, I think we got to just take the positives from today's game. And uh, it's a long weekend for us. So get home, rest. Don't forget the feeling, but come back ready to play tomorrow and uh, battle hard. You guys battled in the first two periods, had a lead in the third period as well, up 3-2. What did you like out of your team for the first 40 minutes? Yeah, I think we uh, we were making plays, we were outworking them, and uh, we were on the right side of the scoreboard, and we kind of had a mental lapse there in the last 15, which uh, kind of brought us down, and we didn't get the win, but I think we got to take the positives from the first 40. 